OntarioLoval.com here in the pit area the Peterborough Speedway standing with Mike Nelson. Uh, Mike, no stranger here to the Peterborough Speedway. You're looking uh, for a good strong continuance of where you left off last year. Yeah, last year we had a great year. We finished uh, second in points to Bobby Love, and you know I'm looking for the same thing. This is the same car I had last year, but we built a new car over the winter time. We're hoping to bring it out within the next couple of weeks, anyways. So we'll have some new toys to play around with and figure out. Now, last year, towards the end of the season, you announced that you were going to go on more of an outlaw type of tour and, and go to some different tracks. Is that still the plan for 2011, or, or have you decided instead to compete weekly at a track for the points? I, I've decided I'm going to race uh, full time here and Kawartha, but I'm also going to do the four race invitational at Sunset Speedway. All right, and uh, Sunset, that's a place uh, that uh, a lot of drivers really enjoy going to, a brand new surface. How do you approach a track like that compared to some of the tracks that have been around where, where they have a little bit more character? Uh, what do you do to the car to get ready to go to a track like Sunset? Uh, I've never been to Sunset, but you know I usually just bring the same setup I run here, and then I'll just tweak on it throughout practice. And you know once I get comfortable with the track, and I'll watch, you know I'll watch other guys run their lines, and I'll follow them around and see what they're doing, and you know go and talk to the other competitors, see if they have any helpful tips, and just go from there. Now, long off season, obviously it's a chance uh, not only to work on the car, but work on your haircut as well. But uh, on a serious note, what what did you do over the winter to work on the cars to get them ready for the season? What kind of work? goes behind the scenes that maybe the fans don't know about? Uh, this car, I basically didn't do much to it. Um, I put new tires on it, but the other car, you know, we got a 2001 Dodge Neon RT, and we had to completely gut the inside, uh, fabricate the roll cage, uh, skin it, uh, put our setup in it and do all that stuff, put a windshield, paint it, decals. It's a lot of work to build one of these cars, but it's sure worth the fun. <laughs> Now here at the Peterborough Speedway, a good group of drivers that you race with, and I know we talked last year, and you really enjoy racing with the, the Loves and, and Tyler Junkin and that. That has to add to the reason why you want to race here at Peterborough, just a, a good group of guys to run with. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine not racing here. I thought about it last year, and the more I thought about it, the more I just couldn't do it. I just love it here, everyone around here. Now this is quite a unique track. If no one's ever been to the Peterborough Speedway, they want to come and check it out. A very unique racing surface. It's weathered over the years, obviously. I think that's what adds the excitement level to the Speedway. Yeah, I was out there for practice and I was uh, getting a little bit sideways there because yeah, the track definitely has a little more character over the after the last winter. There's a few more bumps because the frost got into it, but uh, yeah, this track's just awesome. It's you have to drive this track if you're any kind of driver. Now, no points on the line tonight. Do you approach the race with the same mental attitude, or is it still go for the win and, and uh, not worry about the car? Wreckers or checkers. <laughs> All right. That's Mike Nelson here at the Peterborough Speedway. I'm Greg Kellner for OntarioLoval.com.